So I'm going to show you one way of using a PIC kit 2 to program a microchip microprocessor from Great Car Basic. No batch files, just using the raw software that uh, come from microchip. So if I just come out of PowerPoint, I'm going to show you what, what we're going to be doing. So in my install, in the install, we have provided to you some PIC kit 2 software. Inside of there, there's a download and you've got the setup to the software. So in this folder here, it's in a zip file called pickkit 2 v60.60. And if you install that, you will end up with a utility or an icon like this one here. And it looks like this when it loads up. This is a pickkit 2 interface. And it has found a F1938. It's found it attached to my serial port. So... If I want to make a, something flash, I compile up my code. And if I make a hex file, which it has successfully done, oh, it says, oh, unable to open parallel port, etc. So if I just make the hex this time and not try to program it, all it's done is made a hex file. It's made that hex file in a directory, so I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And if I come into the pick kit, traditionally I'd have to come into the pick kit, I would put the folder name in, look at it by date, pick up the file, open it up, and I would program it. This is similar to another type of device, but it is programming it, because if I come into the preview, I can see I've got a Chipino running my chip, and if I turn the power on, the power comes on here, and the LED floats up and turns on and off. So let's just pretend I'm going to change it. Okay, so I'm going to put that to 500 milliseconds. And if I compile the file, look at the look at the camera, because the camera shows us everything. I can reload that import, import that file, which has just been recompiled. And I write it out. I can see that the bit kit 2 is changing, and I've got a different pulse rate. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Watch this. If I come into here, I push this auto import, and you can do the same from the other menus, okay? Uh, but this 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 auto import isn't up here, look. It's only on this menu down here. If I select the file, every time the hex changes, it will reload. Now, obviously it's every time, okay? And that might not be what you want, but it's an easy way of making changes. So if I change that to 600, I'm going to just compile the hex, I'm going to look at my screen, and we'll see it program, and that pulse will change. Because what's happened in the background is, if I show you everything happening very quickly, it compiles, the pick it to reload it, and then down here I get my different pulse, change in pulse. So, and if I show you in a Try and get all three things on the screen easily at the same time. I'm going to change that back to one second. One millisecond, not very good. Change that to 500. I'm only using this piece of code to, ex to explain this to you. Create hex file. Pick it to software. Read the hex. And then it's written and the changes and the pulses and the pulse down here has been changed. It's just a way of showing you that you can use a pick kit too without any batch files to load your software in, to load your hex into your um, microchip microprocessor. So with that, we'll call that a wrap.